Hello guys! In this video tutorial, we will tell you how to add Form Builder feature to your app. Form Builder feature allows users to schedule an appointment and send inquiries with preset form formats. You can also create your own form for your specific needs using the custom form option. Once you have successfully tested the demo app, click on edit to add the form feature to your app. In my feature section, click on view all and search form builder. Click on the feature to add it to your app. This is your future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or outline icon or an image from our library or upload your own custom icon. You can, even, you can even upload two different images for the mobile apps and website. Now let's move to the content section. Here you will see four different options that is appointment form, inquiry form, custom form, and nested form. The appointment form and the inquiry form are preset forms whereas the custom form and nested form are customizable forms. The custom form is the most widely used of all forms as it allows you to design a form from scratch as per your needs. Now let's check each option one by one. Click on the appointment option. A preset form will appear where you can provide all the details. Enter the form name here. Click on the form icon to change the icon. If you want, you can select the icon from our library or upload your own custom icon. Click on the trash icon to delete the form. Enter the email ID which you want inquiries to be sent. Click on add more to add multiple email addresses. If you want to delete the email ID, click on the trash can icon. Now enter the subject of the email. Let's move to the additional fields section. Here you can see the active fields, field types, field names, and mandatory field icons. The first field type is name, which is active and mandatory. Similarly, the field types including email, phone, date, and time are active and mandatory. If you want, you can change the field name for the particular field type. Click the Add New Field button to add a new field. You can define the field type from the drop-down menu, such as name, radio, checkbox, email, etc. Along with a field name and make them active or mandatory as per your choice. Click the trash can icon to delete the added field. Now click on the advanced settings to activate the activity schedule. This will allow the app users to check the appointment schedule and pick up the timing for the appointment as per their needs. Turn off the toggle to enable or disable the activity schedule. You can select the 12 hour format or 24 hour format from the drop down to set the activity schedule. Here you can define the timings for all the days in the week starting from Monday to Sunday. Click the plus icon to add more timings. To delete the added, added timings, click on the trash icon. Click the close button if you're not available for a particular date. Check the checkbox to add the slot duration for fixing the appointment time bracket. You can set the number of hours, minutes, and the preparation time from the drop down. Come into the language settings. Under language settings, you can manage all text alerts and messages showing up in appointment form. Next comes inquiry form, which is similar to the appointment form, except that no additional fields can be added in the inquire form. Click on the inquire form and preset form template will appear when you, where you can provide all the details. Here you can specify the form name. You can also change the form icon and delete the form. Enter the email ID to which you want inquiries to be sent. Now enter the subject of the email. Let's move to the additional fields section. Here you can see the active fields, field types, field names, and mandatory field icons. All the fields are fixed, active, and mandatory. You can change the field name, that is first name, last name, email ID, mobile number, phone number, website, city, country, and comments as per your needs. Come into the language settings. Under language settings, you can manage all text alerts and messages showing up in the inquiry form. Next comes advanced settings. Here you have the option to connect Soho CRM and Salesforce CRM to your form. Let's check each option. 
Select the Soho CRM settings and enter the Soho authorization key to connect it with your form. Click the tooltip and follow the tutorial to obtain the Soho authorization key easily. Now copy and paste the key in the required input field. Now select the Salesforce CRM settings. Here you will have to enter the client ID and secret key once done. Click on the connect button. The next form on the list is custom form which is the most widely used form of the form builder future. Click on the custom form. A preset form will appear. You can edit the form name, change the form icon or delete the form if required. Enter the email ID to which you want inquiries to be sent. Click on add more to add multiple email addresses. If you want to delete the email ID, click the trash can icon. Next, enter the subject of the email. Tick mark the checkboxes from the options for provided to incorporate the function of the form. You can send inquiries confirmation email to customers, obtain GPS location of the app users, allow app users to upload a digital signature, hide the form from main app pages if used in, in other features such as directory, hyperlocal, real estate, or custom event listings. Show timer on the app or autofill data of the user in the form. Here you can provide a description and upload a header image. Next comes form fields. Here you will see active fields, field types, field names, hint options, and mandatory field icons. You can also de delete the particular field by clicking the trash can icon. Click the add new field button to add a new field. You can define the field type from the drop down menu such as name, radio, checkbox, email, etc. With a field name, make them active or mandatory as per your choice. Click the trash can icon to delete the added field. Select payment settings to accept payment. You can select any payment method from the options provided, such as PayPal, PayFast, pay your money, credit card via Stripe, and Velocity Pay. First, in the PayPal payment method, select PayPal and enter the business email. You can select the currency from the drop down menu. The second is pay, PayFast payment method. Select PayFast and enter the margin ID and margin key. You can select the currency from the drop down menu. Similarly, for the pay you money, enter the margin ID and margin salt and select the currency from the drop down menu. Next is the credit card via Stripe. Enter the live pushable key and live secret key and select the currency from the drop down menu. Now coming to the velocity payment method, select velocity and specify the identity token, application profile ID, margin profile ID, and workflow ID. Click the tooltip located on the identity token input field and follow the tutorial to easily obtain the identity token, application profile ID, margin profile ID, and workflow ID. Select the currency from the drop down menu. For any of the payment methods, you can either select the pay now button to allow the customer to enter the amount to be paid or select the pay now button with a predefined amount. You can enter the predefined amount in the field provided. Next is the advanced settings. Under advanced settings, you can enable fax facility in your app, click the two tip and follow the motion mention step to obtain the API key and the secret key. Enter the fax number, API key, and the secret key in the fields provided. Coming to the language settings, you can manage all text alerts and messages showing up in the custom form. The last one in the, is the nested form of the form builder future. Click on the nested form and a preset form will appear. Similar to the other forms, here you can edit the form name, change the form icon, or delete the form if required. Enter the email ID to which you want inquiries to be sent. Click on add more to add multiple email addresses. If you want to delete the email ID, click the trash can icon. Now enter the subject of the email. Tick mark the checkbox send inquiries confirmation email to customer to allow customers to receive a confirmation mail. You can also select get GPS location of the app user. Checkbox to obtain the location of the app user. Here you can provide a description and upload a header image. Now coming to the form 1, this contains the form fields. You can make the form fields active, define field types, edit the field names, provide a hint, make the form field mandatory for the app user. You can select the field type such as name, email ID, checkbox, radio, etc. 
from the drop down menu. Click the add more button to add a new field and click the trash can icon to delete it. Once form 1 is completed, select to step select the step to be carried out next from the drop down menu. Here let's select go to step 2, form 2. This will take the app user to the next form that is form 2. The same cycle can be continued for a number of times. Similarly for form 2 you can define the form fields and the steps to be carried out next. Coming to the language settings you can manage all text alerts and messages showing up in the nested form. Now let's change the layout and color scheme of your form builder. Click on this color palette icon to change the page style and color scheme. Click on the background icon and select an image for the page background. If you want, you can select an image from our library, solid color, color or upload your own custom image. Choose your desired layout, page element, color, font size, and indent. If you want to make the shape of the fields rounded, high borders, and resize the confirm button to select the required checkboxes. Once you're done, click on save and continue. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.